Greetings, everyone. This is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Holland America suite and long-term cruise experts. Right now, I'm in the Pinnacle suite on board the Eurodam. It's the top suite on the ship, and I think you're going to really love it, so follow me as I show you around. So the first thing that you'll notice right here is the entry door. There are doors here that shut off and separate completely, so you can close that off when you go to bed in the evening, and anybody that needs to access the room can do it through the butler's pantry. But before we go in there, I just wanted to show you Right here, you've got a second bathroom. If you're hosting a party, it's really nice that you have a separate uh, toilet here, sink, nobody has to go into your personal space. And then of course, if you do have one or two passengers that are staying in the living room area, this is the perfect second bathroom for them. Right over here is where your cabin steward is able to prepare just about anything that you would need. You've got your teas, you've got a toaster oven, a kettle right there, you've got your Nespresso maker right here. You've got a small oven actually, and a full size fridge completely stocked and ready to go for these guests that'll be arriving here in just a couple hours. You've got a ton of storage underneath here, including all of the cutlery that you could possibly use so that you can dine in your suite as well. And then right here, you've got a sink. So once again, a full butler's pantry, basically a small kitchen that's a complete setup. One of the great touches in this suite is the Dutch art. There's some in the entryway here. You've got some beautiful artworks here as well. And now you're in the living room. You can imagine that this would be the perfect place for a seven day cruise, but also for a 30 or longer day cruise as well. You've got your full couch here. You've got a nice chair, ottoman where you can sit, put your feet up. Extra chairs here, of course, if you have friends coming over, hosting a small cocktail party. You've got your remote right there that sets, uh, turns on the large screen TV. You've got a full Bose surround system that's all the way throughout the room. You're also gonna have a DVD player and then you can take or borrow DVDs from the Neptune Lounge as well. One great feature that I wanted to point out is these binoculars. They're on a tripod. You can angle them as you like, but when you're in the glaciers or maybe you're in some exotic location, being able to check it out up close, and these are really high powered binoculars, I think is a really fantastic touch. One other thing that I wanted to point out, this has a unique configuration. So you actually do have a full mattress that would come out and down here. So you could put two more passengers on there. And then of course, if you want, they can make it a little bit firmer, put an egg crate mattress topper on there as well to make it more comfortable. All right, so now I'm headed into the main dining space. So right here, you have your dining room table. Of course, you can order from an expanded room service menu right here. You also can work at the concierge in the Neptune Lounge to order as you'd like. Over here on the entry, you see you've got some Veuve Clicquot getting ready to go, a nice welcome gift for the guests, and then of course, any of the onboard credits or other, get, other things that you're gonna get from your travel agent. We always pass along something to our clients. You're gonna be lined up here so that you know exactly what you're going to receive. Underneath here, you have, once again, all of your glassware, your stemware, and then of course the cutlery as well, so that you can dine in your suite right here. So I continue along, I wanted to point out you do have a second set of binoculars you can take out onto the balcony, especially when you're in those beautiful, beautiful spots around the world. You've got your small Bose uh, surround sound system here. And what I love is this is a nice writing desk that actually has a window that looks out. And so when you're sitting here, you can look directly out at the ocean. Also, if you look to your left, you're gonna look out at the ocean once again. I always work while I'm traveling. I could think this would be an absolute perfect place for that. And then up above here, you've got storage all the way along. And then there's several other places out here that I did wanna point out around the corner. You have storage as well. But now we're gonna head into the main sleeping space. And before we do, I just wanted to show you that these doors do close completely and shut off. So you get that full privacy, a really, really fantastic touch here. So it's truly a separate bedroom. As we continue in here, the first thing that I notice is the really, really large California king size bed. This is the Mariner's dream bed. I've slept on them quite often. Very, very comfortable. And then of course, if you'd like an egg crate topper, you want them to put on there, order from the, the pillow menu as well. They would be happy to accommodate you with all of those requests. But let me show you around the room. The first thing as we walk in here is this small writing desk, also a vanity. I noticed they added some USB chargers in here, great touch. They also have a US plug and a European plug. I always bring extra European adapters and converters so that I can take advantage of every plug in the room if I would like to. You've got a little bit of storage up above here. You've got a really large Samsung flat panel TV that you can see from the bed. And then once again, another touch from the bed here as I continue along is you've got these views out at the ocean that are just spectacular. One nice little touch here is that they have the specialty dining menus in suite. Um, that way you can know exactly what you wanna order. I really do love the sushi at Tamarin, my favorite. Pinnacle Grill's hard to beat as well. On the nightstand here, you've got two small drawers. You do have your uh, phone right there, and then I see a USB plug, which is a great, great fit. And then on the other side, 
You've got two more small drawers, so once again, you can put some things away completely, and you have all the light dimmer switches. I do not see any plugs on this side. I always bring a backup battery. That way I can once again charge my phone in the evening. As we continue along, I wanted to point out this vanity. So you've got a nice soft chair there to sit and get ready. You've got plugs under here as well. You've got US plugs, Euro plug, and a USB. But what this is all about is a great place to sit and get ready. Once again, side lit and back lit mirrors. I did want to point out, once again, door. All of them are pocket doors throughout. I really appreciate that because they tuck away completely. But follow me into the extra large walk-in closet. And when I say walk-in closet, I'm still walking and I'm still in the closet here. So right here, you're going to have a ton of storage. You've got up and down storage here with the drawers, your golf umbrella, also the shoehorn and shoe polishing kit. Over here, you're going to have a ton of hanging space. Of course, you can get more um, more hangers and the different kinds. If you want the soft padded hangers, please ask your cabin steward. Along more storage. Once again, you've got your pool towels here ready to go and then time to shine. It's where you can get your shoes shined. It's a complimentary feature in this suite. More hanging space here. And then once again, you've got your two robes, soft, fluffy, very comfortable and more hanging space as well. You can imagine if there's two people in here, if you have all the storage in the other room as well, it's just a massive, massive amount of storage. So as we continue on in, you have your shower here. It's got a bit of a rainforest shower head. You've got your shower wand there as well. This whole thing was put into place during the renovation and I really, really like it. It's got all of these uh, up and down, I kind of call it the car wash shower because you've got all these nozzles all the way around and you can sit and soak, which is great, especially if, uh, if the ship is uh, moving a little bit as it often would be in the evenings. As we continue into the main part of the bathroom, you've got quite a bit of storage here where you can put things away completely. You've got your upgraded LMS bath amenities that are here, including the full size lotions there. You have double vanity, really appreciate that. I love my wife, we love having our own space when we're traveling. Down here you've got a trash and then a little bit of storage underneath as well. And look at this, this is a absolutely massive, massive soaking tub here. You also have the jacuzzi jets in there. The panel over there is gonna turn them on and off. You've got the water spout there and then the shower wand as well, full size bath amenities and you even have a loofah over there and then some small touches that I think make all the difference. In here, you're also gonna have these oversized fluffy uh, pillows, or sorry, fluffy towels as well as the upgraded pillows and linens. All right, now we are in the separate toilet area. Once again, I love that you have a sink in here. You've got a bidet as you would expect of a room of this caliber. You also have a toilet. Not, not that I didn't mention it before, just mention it again, you've got the door, really great that you can shut that completely and close it off and have a separate space. You also have this pesky thing down there that, uh, well, I don't even know that I wanna talk about the scale, but they do have one in here as well. All right, one other thing that I wanna point out right here, you have the ceiling speakers. There are speakers throughout the inside and outside as well, so you can turn them on or off here. Maybe you wanna have some nice soothing music while you have your bubble bath. Can't find anything wrong with that. All right, so now I'm stepping out on the massive veranda. So the inside is a thousand square feet, over 300 more square feet out here. The first thing I'm going to take you is all the way over to the dining room table. You can imagine having dinner right here or maybe breakfast. I love to sit out here and have a nice coffee in the morning. This is the perfect place to sit, uh, read a newspaper and relax. And then of course you've got these amazing views. You've got these two lounge chairs here with ottomans where you can put your feet up. Just have this really nice padded seating area here. Once again, perfect if you're going to host a small cocktail party or have friends come over and join you. And then as I continue along, you can see the other side of this massive veranda. You've got a full-size couch here. In fact, I can picture myself having a nap right there. Once again, that beautiful ocean breeze. Wanted to point out the speakers that they have up here, and then there's also lights throughout the balcony. Right here, you're gonna have your soaking jacuzzi whirlpool. It's again, looking out, maybe you're sitting in the glaciers, unbelievable. You do have the little window there that, that sees through to the writing desk. Just wanted to point that out from this side. But this is, this is what it's all about. This entire space is a fantastic size, but at the end of the day, every single thing that you could possibly want on a cruise, you're gonna have with this suite. So when you're ready to book this incredible suite or any long-term cruise with Holland America, reach out to Har Travel. We are the experts, we've sailed in them. We understand what it means to sail long-term and we have an amazing relationship with Holland America. We know that we can create the vacation of a lifetime at an incredible value.